Okay, it's time to cut the Super Bowl soap, so it's Super Bowl Sunday. We're kind of watching it, but it's on commercial, so I'm trying to uh, get through it. Um, the end on this one cracked badly. I'm not really sure what happened to it. But the inside looks really nice. The red is a nice earthy red, and I don't know if you can see the mica line. You can kind of see some of the sparkle. It came out pretty nice. I know that you guys probably think that I'm crazy for doing the soaps during the Super Bowl commercials, since this is the launch of every commercial for the year, but it is what it is. So let's cut through and see what we get. Now I think that I saw in the making video that for this one it was actually, I think I said that I had two different reds. One was the mica and one was the um, uh, red oxide, and that's not true. They're both red oxide. One I hardened with sodium lactate and one I hardened with salt. I just wanted to see if it would make a difference to the texture of the soap, but I don't really think it will, not right now, not with such a small amount. The swirls came out nice. They're a little more creamier colored than I wanted them to be. I was hoping for a little more gold. But that's all right. I think I've said before, and I've made some people laugh saying this, but it's true. If I want something to happen, it's not going to happen. My soap just like to do their own thing, which is actually everybody's soaps, right? Sometimes you get what you want, sometimes you don't, but it's always pretty in the end. Da, da, da. So the gold sparkle came out really pretty on these ones, too. So this one represents the 49ers, who did not make it to the Super Bowl, but who did make it to the playoffs and who are the team closest to where I live. So, it's kind of our team, and it's also my brother's favorite team. He went to Seattle for the playoffs, so I'll make sure to save a slice of this for him. So again, the swirly swirlies, plop swirls, pretty pretty. And it smells, oh my gosh, it smells fantastic. The wine smell and the chocolate smell come through fabulously. You don't really smell the lemongrass at all or the cedar wood at all, which is an, exactly my intention. Uh, they give that extra oomph and depthness to the fragrance. So this has a really, really high end smell to it. I'm loving it. Really, really loving it. <laughs> Ta da! And let's get these last two done, then we'll move on to the Seahawks soap. Cut, 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 cut. It's almost too hard to cut. I need a cutter. And coincidentally, Shannon is starting a giveaway. It's a $5 entry to win a bud cutter. So you pay $5, and assumably the entry fee is what pays for the cutter. So you pay $5, and then She's going to have a drawing, and then someone will win the actual cutter. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. Another corner fell right off. Boo. So this is going to be a slim piece here. Yeah, overall it's okay. Um, like I said, the smell is better than the design, but that is what that is. I knew that this was, might have a chance of thickening up, and sure enough it did. So this probably won't be a formula that I keep. Um, some of these slices are going to go out to the test team. Um, I like to test stuff a lot, and I'm not reliable for my own opinion, like just on my own opinion, because my water here is absolutely crazy. So I really do need input from other people in different places about how the soap is gonna work for them. I know that soap works different everywhere, but my water where we live in Nevada is horrible. It's known to be horrible. So I just need some extra input. So this soap's gonna go out to the test team. This one will too, the Seahawks one. And we'll see how it goes. This one was made, this is the original formula one. And it has a lot of palm and a lot of shea butter in it. And I knew that's why, like, why it was going to get thick was because of that. So this one was a thinner version of that. And look, I totally restrained myself from cutting the end off. 
But all I'm set that it overheated. Can you see the kind of crack in the middle? Maybe you can't. But these seem to get really dry. The corners just wanted to come right off on these two. So I have to maybe modify it again. We'll see. Let's take the yeah, let's take the edges off the corners. The cocoa butter one, came, which are the last soaps that I made, they came out a lot better than the shea butter ones. I'm thinking part of it is the molds. I'm using the Crafter's Choice silicone molds, and those ones you really need to get seasoned. Did I do the top on this yet? No. They need to be seasoned. I think that mine are finally seasoned, and I will actually maybe do a video on how to season those or how to prep them that way you lose less of your soap because let me tell you those are not the easiest molds to work with but the size is just right there we go another corner okay here was my towel to lay those on okay super excited let's go Moment of truth. Ooh, pretty, pretty. And oh gosh, this is one of my favorite fragrances. It's a house blend of Great Irish Tweed. That's all I'm going to tell you is the main ingredient. It has some other really fresh notes in there. So it calms it down. It's not so much of a men's cologne scent, and this could be used by women who like fresh soap scents, who like the unisex scents. I'm loving the top on this soap too, by the way. Look at how pretty that swirl is. I was really worried that this was going to crackle on the inside once I saw the crack on the top and realized it overheated, but it doesn't look like that, that happened, so we're really good there. <laughs> oh, I'm super happy with the swirl and I'm glad that I did do the blue on the top. I'm loving the hanger swirls. One of my favorite swirls. Okay, I dropped my other towel, so let's just use this one to clean the wire off. I am totally entering Shannon's giveaway, and I think every sipper who needs a cutter should. So it's on Facebook, so you have to have a Facebook account. And I might put the link below when I post the video. If it's not there when I post it, then I'll come back and post it. And then I'll also post it on Facebook. That way you can see it. Look at how nice that came out. Just so pretty. The gray came out really nice. Three, four, five, four. <laughs> One of the uh, town groups on Facebook where I live is a small town. We're a really close knit community. We come together for a lot of different causes, and it's a small town, so a lot of people know a lot of other people. And there's a conversation going on in the group about the sea chickens versus the Broncos. So I'm going to post this soap there too so they can see. And I do have to test one more shea butter formula. So I might, um, actually I'll just go ahead probably and make a Bronco soap because I didn't do that. That way they all kind of have the same theme, like the football collection theme, you know? And the hanger and the top. This is one of my favorite pieces. I might end up keeping this one. Really pretty. Wow. <laughs> okay. 
I'm really happy with how my soaps have been setting up lately. They're getting firmer faster. This hasn't even been 24 hours yet. Look at the swirl on that one. This is super cool. <laughs> No zap, so it's saponifying, which is good. Oh, a little bit of a delayed zap, so it's almost saponifying. Okay, let's cut the end off of this one. And let's see. The corner came off of this one, so I'm trying to cut it straight without cutting too much off the actual bar. Let's see. There we go. Okay, perfect. So I got a perfect size end piece, which is that. And then that got rid of that broken corner. So I don't mind the ends having broken corners because I use these basically, it's what I use to test to see how they're coming along. If people want to try my soaps, I usually give them an end piece. So that's pretty perfect. And then here's the last piece. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Comment, rate, and subscribe. Happy Super Bowl Sunday, and I'll see you in the next video. Some of my upcoming videos are going to be more testing soaps. I'm also doing a couple on soap calc. I'm going to start the WordPress series here pretty quick. So. Um, thanks for watching, and I will see you again soon. Bye.